Hi, Sharon Danley here with another two minute tip. This week the soapbox is out. How many pairs of shoes do you wear at the same time? Or lipsticks that you wear at the same time? Or part of your wardrobes, how much do you wear all at the same time? They say that things don't give us happiness, but that experiences do. You know how difficult it is when you're feeling low and we've been trained to think that, oh, I'm going to go for some retail therapy. That is one of the worst uh, messages that consumers have received, and especially in the last couple of decades, but more so this last decade. And unfortunately, our young women are taking that on too. I'm not for one second not advocating, you know, having the things that you enjoy within your budget and balance and your lifestyle needs, etc. But a common sense needs to be brought into it. Uh, if you have more than, let's say, 10 pairs of shoes, or eight to ten lipsticks. You just can see where I'm going here. If you have any more than that, then you might want to ask yourself, how much is too much? Handbags are another thing. How many do you have and what do you pay for them? Something just to think about. And here's the trick. If what you wear uh, is suitable for you, for your coloring, for your age, for your body frame, for your face shape, for your head size with hairstyles. If what you buy or purchase is suitable, it's good quality, makes you feel and look good, then how much of that do you need to keep repeating? We can take a page out of our European sisters' viewpoints. They tend to dress very well, but they don't have a huge closet full of clothing, as I understand it. They would rather have a few exceptionally good pieces, always looking good and feeling good, and not a whole lot to really have to care about. So the next time you want to go out for some what they call retail therapy, how about going and buying a good book, or maybe uh, a, a, you know an electronic book, or something for yourself and something for somebody else. Maybe even just try this experiment. Instead of buying something for you, do retail therapy for someone else and log it in your journal as to how it makes you feel. Okay, the soapbox is going back in the cupboard and we'll see you next time.